What's going on YouTube? It's Wade here again, and uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit more of Life is Strange Episode 1. So this is Episode 2 of Episode 1, and uh, it's been a pretty awesome game so far. Elements of time travel, and time travel, and high school violence. Not a good thing, but it makes for an interesting story, usually. Unless we're talking about like those old 90s after school specials. With like the, the, Billy, have you been bullying your classmates? No, Dad, I would never. Ugh. Continue. And we should start right where we left off in that little courtyard area there. To uh, kind of bring it back up to speed, I think... We found out she's in a photography class and she has an interest in that. She went to the bathroom and heard a guy talking to himself and he eventually shot another girl that came into the bathroom. She rewound time, got back there in time to hammer time on the, uh, come to the, front office. the fire alarm. They got out of there and now she's outside. She told the principal, but he did not believe her. But he just said Nathan Prescott to the office, so maybe he's going to question him. And he just didn't want to seem like it was a big deal in front of her. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're only half hour into this. So, here we go. Uh, not quite sure where to go, really. I really... <clears throat> I mean, I know it's uh, not the most uh, graphically impressive game of all time. But I really like the uh, the visuals in this game. It's like it's got that. It's just got an interesting style, you know. We'll sit on the fountain. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast, and none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow, I did rewind time. Nuts. Let's talk about Life is Strange. How crazy would that be if, like, that gold dude just, like, started talking like, You're damn right, you rewound time, you little missy. better read text before he blows my phone up. Who texts that fast? That is ridiculous. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. Oh, the lot's looking cool. I thought he was like, Hey, babe. I'm looking cool in the lot. <laughs> All right. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I want to look at this gold man first. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. Shit cats. I've never heard that uh, phrase before. But it works. I wouldn't want to shit a cat. Who are you? He's laying over here all by yourself. Wow, that's creepy. Anyway. <laughs> Exhibition pen. Art. Oh crap, where is. Okay, dormitories. We gotta get the flash drive. Flashy, flashy, flash drive. A signpost. Let's look at that just in case we didn't know what it was. I need said. to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Hmm. Probably should. Oh, pff, duh. Come on, Logan, bring it, Brock. Brah. Ah, oh, brah, yeah. you were supposed to bring it, brah. Brah! Brah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The <whistles> hoop. Oh, not her again. 
Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. <laughs> what a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Wave hipster. Have you the seen Daguerre your shirt? The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Yeah. He's oh wait, He's hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay, well, like that was shitty of her to say, but... That was kind of funny. Fuck yourself, Faith. Clever. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I could go right up I just to want room. to get Victoria the hell out of the way. No. Look at the sprinkler. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. How exactly could I do that? What does that say? Indians go home. Racist. Water pump. Yeah, let's get this asshole wet. Whoa. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. He just disappeared. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Especially not if you're like, chill on the steps. I'm okay. I'm, I'm really wary of Samuel now because he. I mean, that was probably just a little glitch, but he disappeared, man. He was gone. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still no, stylish. Get lost. I just sprayed your ass with the water! There's only one way around this. Yeah. Well, what is that way around? Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Super rewind. Can't even chill on this damn. Tampered with the paint. No. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. Oh, okay. I see what's going on now. Now we're gonna get water on her cashmere again. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Paint. Let's pull a full on carry. Good thing he didn't disappear that time. That'd be spooky. No way. No fucking you okay, way. Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from What's me, Mark weirdo! Marin doing in this? Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Hmm. To make fun of her, that wouldn't make me any better. Should I comfort and be the bigger person? 
Probably. Teaching I love am and sorry. compassion. That's an awesome cashmere coat. No. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Awesome. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Nice, bro. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck yourself -y. I'd be sorry, that was clever. That was mean, but pretty funny. See? She it's even agrees with me. one of those me. days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. God. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. All that just to walk up some steps. What? <laughs> Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Oh, shiny Victoria That's is going awesome. to be pissed we took so long. We awesome. There's Jack Nicholson just pops his head out the door. Here's Johnny! Juliet, read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who cares? Uh, stomp of Bigfoot. Bathrooms. Oh no, we know what happens in bathrooms. Missing persons poster. Is that a new person? Or we get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Well, that's not very compassionate. I mean, if you were missing, you'd want people to, uh, you know. Look for you. That bear's missing an eye. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. That is a sweet screensaver. DVDs. What kind of DVDs you got? One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Well, HD TVs are overrated. Where's the flash drive? Guitar. Get fiddle. Let's play some get fiddle! Sweet licks. Anyway. Okay. Jewelry. Flash drive. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Pirates. Play some music. No! I don't have copyright infringement on YouTube again. Note. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max! Or whom it may concern. The cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace. Warren G. Cannibal Holocaust, that's a good movie. Never seen the other one, but... I'm digging all the uh, film references in this game. I'm a big uh, movie buff myself, so. Uh... 
Well, hold on. Did I did I pick up the uh, flash drive there? Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. XO. Max, your principal sent me an email saying you told some tall tales about a black well on a student. Is it true? The principal said this was a serious false charge. And he's worried about your uh, your tell story. Call me Ed, I baby. I can talk about it in my <clears throat> Anyway. Okay. I uh, didn't check the computer. Maybe there's a flash drive. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max! Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna keep going on with reading stuff. We'll do one Christopher Walken reading per episode. I'll make that deal. Unless it's an exclusively text-based uh, game, then uh. <sighs> Max and oh, Chloe, I already looked at this. No, forever. no more pirates. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Those pirates. Sticky note. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I found your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. We need to back track down in my room, XOXOD. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Great. <laughs> you can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Hey, can I have my flash drive, please? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. So stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh. I'm gonna say... Mason? Uh... Juliet... Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Well... Good thing I can rewind time. Rewind time. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What you didn't she do? Ridiculous. Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just you zone out with your out, camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? It is... Watson. Juliet Watson. Watson! Uh, Get I'm in flattered. here! Discover I the didn't clue. even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Well, where's Victoria's room? We're gonna deal with this. Deal with this right now. It's a serious business. 
if I can oh. find Victoria's room. There it is. Thankfully, we have an arrow. A little sketched arrow pointing to where I need to go. Be the change you wish to be, Gandhi. Yeah, very Gandhi-like person, Victoria. Spitting everywhere because I'm mad. Hmm. It's actually not too bad. Okay. Uh, laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How do I print? Is there a printer? Print email. Printing! Ah, yes. The printer. Proving that people this have better convinced given Juliet that Dana is innocent. false accusations for decades. I don't know how long Printer's been around, but I'm gonna assume the uh, 80s. Sorry, I don't, I don't, you know, have a, you know, exact grasp on the history history of the uh, uh, printing appliance. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Can you bring it to me? Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Choo -choo. No, what am I doing? No. Flash drive. Take that shit! Must yeah. protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Uh... Alright, um... Uh oh. Huh. Alright. Being an impatient asshole over a parking lot. But, uh. Yeah. Where do I go? Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt. Damn, what? I better rewind. Listen here, asshole. Get up, a douchebag's about to throw a football. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Zach should love consequences. Yeah, somebody not getting hit in the head by a douchebag's football. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I'm gonna take a photo. Evidence. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll rewind time. I'll rewind time, it's cool. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. 
I mean, I think taking a picture would have helped more in the long run, so there was actual proof. So he's like, so oh, don't no, think I didn't I'm do that. Lying. I see everything. But I'll intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. <laughs> Little text comes up. He will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Officer David Dickhead. <laughs> Maybe I wanted to walk there, huh? I didn't, but... Felt like saying it. Cause I know there's probably just one guy playing this. Eh. I b believe this was a video game. I think I'm supposed to be able to control. I'm glad I stepped in that time. What a I can't do. stand to see people being bullied. Missing person's poster. Missing people. Come on over here, please. All right, settle your shit. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Language. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yes. Yeah, thanks. Cause I you had have. some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur that does sound better than thief ha ha make sure you watch cannibal holocaust seen it seen it i was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too so you're sensitive ouch that sounds awful the way you say it Hmm. I feel like I probably should No, say I was that. impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. So we can see babes with breasts. <laughs> I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal? Now. You were the one hiding out in the girls' bathroom. Answer me, bitch! Hmm. What are you talking what about? What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! 
I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, yes. dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> what a douche. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Douche! Look at Elvis. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. I have idea, no so idea. Have I know back. he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah. Must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? Uh, I mean... No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Super ethereal, you guys. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome Wall. home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Okay. Um, probably cut there. It's saved. So, uh, 
think that's a good place to stop for this episode. Um, so yeah, awesome stuff so far. Um, really diving deep into the story here. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, come back for part three of episode one of Life is Strange. Catch you on the flip side. Thank you.